Hey everybody, today I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to make a breakfast meal. And this is kind of unusual, but very good. And um, so we will just go ahead and get started. And you have your frying pan here and to your frying pan, add a little oil. And I added probably a third of a cup, maybe something like that. I'm turning the uh, burner on. And while that is getting hot, I have flour here and I'm going to use some house seasoning and season my flour with that. And I don't want to put too much. I believe that will be enough. And just mix that up. And, um, Kind of spread it out just a little bit. I'm trying to see if my oil, it's not hot yet. I didn't think it would be. But we're going to fry our egg in this oil in a minute when it comes up to heat. And um, the name of this is Country Fried Egg. So, maybe in just a second, this will be ready. And I hope everybody's having a real good day. It is so cold here in North Carolina. But I like the cold. And I love the snow. Kaylin and I were talking this morning about going out in the snow so I think this is hard enough, hopefully. I'm gonna break my egg. Yeah. I'm gonna throw this away. And I'll turn my heat down just a little bit. And I want this to cook without breaking the yolk. So we'll have to let it go for a minute. And I probably could have done with a little less oil too. Uh, I believe I'll be able to turn it. or not. Maybe I should give it a little bit more time. There. Now we'll cook it on the other side. And just let it go until you think that the whites of your egg is done. I'm going to turn that down just a little bit more. And now we're going to take the egg out of the oil. We're going to put it in the flour. And we're going to cover it up with the flour. And 
try to get it good and floured all over. And now we're going to put it back in the oil. But we want to knock some of this flour off. And you want to get your um, coating of your flour nice and brown. So that will take a minute. And sometimes I get impatient, but for this to be really good, I need to be patient and let it get uh, browned. It's getting a little brown. And then I'm going to turn it over. Ooh. I might turn it back over and brown it a little bit more. This is just another way to have breakfast and not have the regular bacon and eggs and toast and grits and I'll just have something a little different. So I hope everybody's getting ready for Christmas and doing all the things that you have to do to get prepared. And I'm wishing everybody a, just a wonderful holiday season. So that looks like it's about done. And I believe that's the yellow right here, this weird looking part. So I'm going to take it out and put it on the plate. And there's what it looks like. Then I'm going to take my flour from where I seasoned, uh, the um, egg and put that flour in to make the gravy because you know when you have like a chicken fried egg or or chicken fried steak you have um, gravy on top so we let the flour get a little brown to burn off that flour taste. And then some people like water gravy. I like flour gravy. Oh, excuse me, I like milk gravy. And don't add a whole bunch of milk at once because your gravy will seize up on you and it won't be near as good. Mm -hmm. 
just stir this around. You, if you feel like uh, you need more seasonings after you taste it, then add more to it. And we need a little bit more milk, and then I think that will be enough. And just make your gravy however you like it, thick or thin. Just um, control the thickness by how much milk you use. I'm going to go ahead and cut the burner off because there's enough heat with um, the burner off. So this looks good right here. And I think gravy is one of my very favorite things to have for breakfast. And I think I like it over light bread better than anything. So I'm just gonna use this to get up some gravy and put it on our egg. There. Now here is our chicken fried egg. And I'm going to give it a taste. wanting to slide on the plate. I made a mess of the plate. Mm. I like that with that crust on it. That's good. And the gravy turned out really good, too. And for my taste, I don't think it needs any seasonings. But um, I appreciate you watching. I hope you give this a try. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself. Do something nice for yourself and someone else. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.